so also tie back to the internship uh, questions we had I definitely think internship is very important and then trial uh, like getting an internship is you know prepare you for the professional work experience and really get you familiar with the industry but um, from my, my personal internship experience I had a digital marketing intern when I was in school but I won't say that's like a very successful internship so after I graduated I started to apply just on LinkedIn and then you know getting my resume ready get have it have a look for um, different people and um, get my resume ready and then second thing is practice your interview school so um, I remember like endless interviews and you know sometimes when you don't get a feedback or if you're failing a interview that's perfectly normal so getting interviews from um, different small big company is something that I was holding I was working towards and then um, you know opportunity comes when you're ready so I will say like have your resume ready and then practice your interview and never uh, afraid of filming an interview. Um, seeking the first job, uh, it's, I'm not going to lie, it's very difficult, um, but uh, it's just how constantly you are into it and how much uh, effort you're ready to put in. Um, the best thing that worked out for me was reaching out to Miami alums through LinkedIn. You will see the um, university name. And uh, I used to give them a little bit of introduction about myself. I heard from a, most of them. There were multiple career opportunities that came up. Um, some of them were successful, some of them were not. But uh, they usually help you find your way uh, through it. Um, and help you uh, land into your first job. My first job, I landed through LinkedIn itself. Um, the other thing that was very helpful was keeping a record of where you're applying because sometimes the interviewers just call without any notice and you're uh, probably just like looking at a phone and there's a call and then they start interviewing you and you, ha you need a minute to um, understand about what is happening and did you apply to this company, what position you applied for, what role. Um, so I used to uh, make an Excel sheet which had a brief description about the role and um, the little bit about the company. So I would quickly open it and then process and go forward with my interview process, which was, I would say, a very, very helpful thing. Um, yeah, I think uh, all these networking profiles, uh, all the uh, media say, uh, platforms where you can probably connect with more and more people is the most helpful tool and that is one thing that you should be continuously doing in order to grow your network and to help yourself find a better opportunity and sometimes it helps in um, realizing some of the career paths which you might have not anticipated which are possible in your field um, so I would say just keep looking yeah I would say I have the similar um, I did the similar things as Sachi which I keep a record of every job that I apply for because I I think like each time when there's an interview approach that I have to know like which position I apply for and I think it's definitely help and sometimes I will tailor my resume to specific job description so I have to find out that uh, resume and uh, kind of you know match the resume to the job description and prepare for my interview. Um, and the second thing I will say that I reach, I also like network with people in LinkedIn or alumni that I write um, an introduction of myself to them and ask them whether we can have a like shot chat and discuss about maybe their career experience and any advice they can give or they might also offer you know like the uh, referral which 
is the way that I got my job because I got referral from people and I got an interview. So yeah, I would say uh, that's basically it.